Welcome back. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Our guest on this episode is someone who has earned a reputation as Africa's foremost actress. She is a filmmaker and has starred in more than 100 movies. She has received several awards and nominations for her work as an actress. This includes um, the Afro Hollywood Awards, Filmmaker USA Award for Excellence, Real Awards for Best Actress, the prestigious AMVCA Award for Best Overall Movie in Africa, to mention a few. Um, she is the founder of Extended Hands Foundation, which has done extensive work in the field of vesicle vaginal fistula, with a string of local and international awards, and a portfolio of philanthropy and activism. Let's make welcome the lady with an infectious personality, <laughs> Stephanie Linus. Thank you. Thank you for welcome. having me here. Thank, thank you for you. being here. <laughs> thank you. This is and the you new look. We are unveiling oh, <laughs> the new <laughs> Stephanie. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. I don't know if it's new. It's just, you know... Yeah, I'm in this, I think on this, this phase. The first time they'll be seeing you like I know, face. seeing you mm -hmm. my short hair, I mm -hmm. think so, yeah. So what inspired this phase? No, it's not a phase. It's just a, I used a product that sort of like damaged my hair because my hair was actually long and I shaved it all off and I'm growing my hair back. It's as simple as that. Oh, so really. you're growing Great. it back. Yeah, I don't need, Well, I love hair. I'm growing it back, so I'm oh, rocking well, it. Good. I think it's refreshing because I will tell you I just wanted to embrace my natural state mm. and go to natural. So, so I admit that your hair had issues. Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, it's not the issue. No, but it's also embracing your natural mm. self. I think that is also part of it. And why I... Because it was really low when mm -hmm. I showed it, but why I put it out on social media is if you can see me in all my hair and extension, why wouldn't I come out here looking as natural to you? So I'm embracing all of that. You and know? you're looking good as well. Thank you. Okay. And it's Team Natural, yes. Mm -hmm. My hair is natural. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, Stephanie Linus has just launched a campaign tagged Hygiene First. It seeks to put hygiene at the center of our national culture. Take a look at this video. When we do the same thing over and over again, it becomes more than just a thing, it becomes a habit. The habit that made you to ignore that dirty bathroom, to eat with unwashed hands, to throw trash on the street, is definitely going to affect you, and then me, and then all of us, until it becomes our problem. Every day we make different decisions that seem small at first but have huge consequences on the quality of our lives. That change you want to see, that dirty place you wish was clean only gets better when we all do our part. Good hygiene lowers the risk of diseases and illnesses commonly spread through viruses and bacteria. As we can see with COVID-19, making a conscious effort to practice good hygiene can actually save lives. Good hygiene will help our family stay healthy and make us feel proud of the place we call home, our state, or our nation. Practicing good hygiene is a collective responsibility we all must share. By taking the first step in the right direction and holding each other accountable, so we can all enjoy the immense benefit of a cleaner and healthier world. The Hygiene First campaign is my call to a conscious reawakening for a national culture that puts hygiene first. Today, I make the conscious decision to put my hygiene first and I will influence my community. Will you do the same? Join us as we make hygiene first our reality. That's amazing. <laughs> Thank you. So tell us about hygiene first. Um, I think with everything that's been happening, uh, I, I just thought it's, um, it's about time we look inwards and really tackle some of the um, things that are really facing us directly at our faces. And I think the issue of hygiene is something we as a people have so many times we've talked about it. You've talked about it with your family, you've talked about it with your mm -hmm. friends, or you go to a place or you're passing through something like, oh, why is this here? Why is that here? And, you know, so with this um, COVID happening and, you know, there was a lot of time to reflect. And I just noticed that, you know, there's certain things that we have the power as a people to change. That it starts first with you and I making a conscious deci decision to say, okay, I want to do better with my hygiene. I want to do better with my environment and the people around me because it's not just for anybody. First of all, it's for my own 
health and for also the people that I care about. Mm -hmm. And then with that, it's kind of like translates into the environment because now you're more conscious about what happens to the next mm -hmm. person, just as you're trying to protect yourself, you also want to make sure that the other person is protected. So looking at the environment, I just feel that there's certain things, yes, government has a lot to do, but there's a lot of role that we need to play mm -hmm. as a people. Because there's a conscious effort, you driving in the car and throwing out the trash, mm -hmm. it's the government wasn't there, but it's you as an individual that made that decision to do that. So mm. you can as well make a better decision to keep it in your car and trash it properly. I like that you said uh. that because I was going to ask, sorry, what yes. are some of the subconscious attitudes that you've seen us um, reliving over and over again that you yeah. wish that um, we can change? From yes, now on? Uh, there's a lot. Just like I mentioned, the car one, and you know, we saw this viral video of someone washing fruits in the mm. gutter, and yeah. it, I think that kind of like me i'm like whoa no way there's something fundamentally wrong with our heads that's i think we need to be more aware more you know to know that whatever thing that you do look at the consequences it affects the next person it affects your environment so you're becoming more tactful in some of the decisions that you make and it starts with you so we just felt that having this hygiene first campaign you know my new habits for you know just give it a new lease of people feeling oh i need to you know they say cleanness is that's the godliness mm -hmm. you know i need to take care of my environment Since because religious so we can uh, as well be clean, uh, clean yes mm -hmm. so I'm, and then you feel happier when you you come in a clean environment or you do tax you feel oh my space is clean it clears your head it makes you to think well and all of that and also in the long run it helps with our maintenance culture in nigeria so mm -hmm. i just felt activating that in a funky fun way and you know getting people to see it's all of us it's not a stephanie campaign you have you take it as your own responsibility all the things that you need to do to better your environment you know take on the initiative and and, and apply it to yourself and uh, to your family that's, that's amazing but um for the people that are not on social media or do not even have televisions what extra measures would you be taking to make sure they get this message about IGEN? Oh, we're, we have a series of programs that we've laid down um, to do. And why we put out this video? Because everybody's locked down and nobody's going anywhere. So we needed to put out this video to educate people. And But we have uh, a lot of programs we're going to be doing on radio and TV and so many other activities that we're going to get the community to participate and take mm. ownership of. Because the main thing is for them to take ownership of this idea and run with, with it and even do great things with it. So uh, we have a lot of programs that things we're going to do that we're going to take it down to, from the grassroots to the middle to oh, almost right. everybody. Yeah. I, I think this conversation you're having, I mean, it's amazing, it's commendable, but I don't think this is the first time that we're having this sort of conversation. So what do you think we should do differently with this campaign to ensure that, like you said earlier, there's something fundamentally wrong upstairs, I think, yeah. actually, let's just look at Nigeria as a yeah. whole. So how do we begin to get them to understand it? Yes, they hear it, they agree, but how do they understand it to imbibe it into their own way of life? I think the, the idea also came in timely because we've seen with COVID that just a little disease, just by practicing the basic thing can actually help save okay. your life. Mm -hmm. So do you want to be running to the hospital all the time? Or do you want to keep your safe hygiene so you save money? You don't have to find yourself going to the hospital or getting sick, you know, because there's so many communicable diseases that you can actually prevent by keeping your environment clean. So I think with the COVID and the fear of that kind of like made everybody more open, mm -hmm. you know, Sometimes there's a hospital I went to before. They weren't as clean as when I went back. Oh, wow. <laughs> so I like okay, there's an awakening a of hospital. something. So I think people are more open because of what has happened, and they could see that this virus just stopped the whole world. And by doing basic things, we can you know be safe. So why not just extend it? Extend mm. it to all the things that happen because this is just COVID. There's malaria. There's other kinds of communicable disease that kill people every day. And they still tell you, just do the basic things. Yeah, it's to help things. elongate your life, uh, you know, as an African and as, as a Nigerian and all of that. So doing those basic things are quite very important. So mm -hmm. it's to be able to bring down that information, break it down for them to understand. And that's what we're hoping to do. Because sometimes what we've noticed that will happen in Nigeria is that information are not really broken down for people to articulate understand. and understand it and take ownership of it. So that's what we're trying to do, to break down that information. Right, so I know when you're passionate about something, you put it in a movie such as what you did with Dry. <laughs> so are we going to be seeing a movie on uh, No, 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 not on hygiene, but on human trafficking, yes. That's the one I'm working on, but no, no, not on, hy not on okay. hygiene. We're going to be having a series of programs, yeah, but not like a film. All Unfortunately, right. we have to go. Thank okay. you for drinking tea with us at Thank this time. you. Thank you for having me. And that's how I wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching and do join the conversation on social 
social media with the hashtag tea time or just tweet at us at plus tv africa also send your opinion via whatsapp to 09065719 um i thank you as always to go to michael uncle ifel wash okay yes, and our guest stephanie linus thank you for doing this with us my name is elsie godwin please do stay safe Thank you.